Hey, how you doing? It is Coach MT, and I want to thank you for clicking on this video. So uh, you probably saw this video because it might have been at the top of a search or over as, as a suggested video, and we paid for you to be able to see this video first. So we're going to give you some really good information in regards to early warning services and check systems, okay? Now, I do have some notes. Let me get my notes, all right? Because I wanna make sure I give you some of the best information that we have. Now, the reason that this program was put together is because I myself, Coach MT, was on check systems last year, uh, well, 2020. I was looking to, actually I found out at the end of December, 2019, I was looking to open a, another bank account because I was leaving a bank. I had left the bank. I didn't have a bank account for a while. It, there was some, some financial challenge I was going through, but I was looking to open a bank and the bank said, uh, you know, we check check systems and you're on check systems. And I was like, what the heck is a check system? I didn't know. Even even me being in the in the credit field, I was so focused on credit. I had no idea. You know, I was focused on credit, learning about other uh, consumer reports and check systems popped up. So I said, what is this? So I got my check systems report and I did some research come to find out there were some things I could have used, I could use in my credit process to help with check systems. Uh, six rounds later, I was clear cleared from check systems and it's probably gonna pop up somewhere here on on the screen where it's my my report that got cleared up so now you're probably thinking like what is early warning services and what is check system and how did I get there okay so I have some notes over here that I want to make sure I give you the right information okay I, I, I don't just want to go top of my head it says here that check systems maintains a huge database on how bank how bank customers manage their account okay, on how they manage their accounts um so that's what check systems does. And if you're not managing your account correctly, you could end up on check systems. So things could be such as NSF fees or overdrawn or overdraft fees or things of that nature. And you can end up on checks. It may have things to do with check. Early warning services tracks fraudulent activity. All right, fraudulent activities. Things such as check fraud, bank fraud, forgery, check kiting, check alteration and counterfeiting. That's what early warning services check, uh, tracks. So check systems is more on your activity. Early warning services is more on fraudulent activity. So kind of give you the, the, the two different. So I'm gonna tell you uh, here in a moment how you get on both of these reports. Um, now the thing about early warning services is that they are co-owned by Bank of America, bb and it's no longer bb and any longer, Capital One, JP Morgan Chase, PNC Bank, US Bank, and Wells Fargo. So these are the banks that own early warning services. So if you find your yourself on early warning services, a good chance what you, you have one of these accounts. And it makes it a little bit more challenging to to uh, to clear that up. We have been successful. So let's talk about these two consumer reports. And why is it that you don't find out that you're on these reports until you attempt to go get a new bank account? Now pay attention to this because it's going to be very important. There, there are laws out there called anti-money laundering laws. And in 2001, uh, the U.S. Patriot Act stiffened on these anti-money laundering laws because you have drug traffickers and terrorism terrorists that were laundering money through banks okay that remember 9 11 um you know th that's what that whole process came from because of the anti-money laundering laws if anything happens at your bank like with check systems you're not managing your bank correctly and the, the account closed only warning services they found some type of fraud well what's going to happen is internally that bank is going to do something called a suspicious activity report and they're going to do an investigation to make sure there isn't any type of drugs or laundry going on for terrorism now because now after this investigation they don't have to tell you that they're doing this all right they, they, they don't do, they do not have to tell you that they're doing this after that because that s that sar was completed now you have to be reported where are they going to report you well they can't report you to the credit bureau because it has nothing to do with credit so they report you to either check systems or ews that is how you end up on these reports and that's the reason why you don't find out your own ones reports until you attempt to go get a new bank Account. Please, 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 please do not call your bank. Start talking about anti money laundering laws. They're not going to care. They're not going to listen, right? And they're probably going to be like, how the heck do you know that? But don't go talk to them about that because there's, there's no reversal on that process. That is how you end up on these reports. Now, let's talk about getting off of those reports because I know that's what you really hear. Now, there's a lot of individuals out here that are helping individuals with credit, helping individuals with other consumer reports, but they're not a, a lot of individuals that are willing to touch early warning services and or check systems, right? Because that the, 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 the process can be quite challenging, right? It can be quite challenging because of how 
you got on the report. When it comes to getting yourself off of the reports, here are two things you can do. Number one, you can wait the seven years that it takes before that account falls off, or you can call and say, hey, can you take this off? It's been seven years. You can wait the seven years. So you can look to see when that account was put on the report, and then you can wait seven years. Funny thing is, I've actually had some individuals who are willing to do that, okay, instead of having to pay the cost to, to, to get it removed or do it themselves. The second way you can do it is you disputing it all, right? Disputing it off of the report, off of e early warning service or check systems all right and there there are several ways you can do that number one you can do it yourself okay there I'm pretty sure you can find a plethora of letters out there to be able to help you with that process or you can find someone that has a process that was successful and purchase their letters and their process and then you do it on your own second way to do it is that you can find someone to do it for you or do it with you right doing it with you means that they're gonna coach you through the whole process doing it for you means they're gonna take care of the process for you. But either way, the only way to get off early before seven years is to dispute it off of the report. Now here's the good thing about it. Both of the reports have to follow FCRA reporting laws, just same way as the credit bureaus. And what those FCRA laws is that they help you, the consumer, because both of the both of those reports have to follow the law when it comes to reporting your personal information on that report. Early warning services and check systems are privately owned companies. They have nothing to do with the government. They have nothing to do with with banking banks hire them all right the, the banks ask them to to work with them personal information on those reports they still have to follow the laws on how they report that information FCRA says they have to do X Y and Z and then what the dispute letters do is say hey are you doing X Y and Z and if you're not you have to remove this information that's how that works when it comes to your bank the banks because uh, sometimes you owe a balance sometimes you don't owe a balance but still that information from the bank over to early warning service or check systems they have to follow the FDCPA, stands for Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. Now, I know they're not really collecting on a debt. Your account at the bank is the bank's information, and the fact that they're reporting it on early warning services and checks is without your consent makes them have to follow the FDCPA law, all right? So you have two sets of laws that are helping you as a consumer. So you can ask the bank, bank, you said I did this at check systems. Show me where I did that. And you can say, hey, bank, you said I did this at, according to early warning services, show me how I did that and they have proved to you how you did that you're the consumer you're the consumer and they are sharing your information on a public platform that you did not give them consent to do like there's a, there's a lot of laws there's a lot of laws and loopholes in this process that is the little story there about early warning services and check systems and we here at financial champion coaching is probably the one of the only companies that are actively disputing both of those reports I talked to some of my cohorts and they said we just we just don't touch it because you know they don't understand the, the insides but we, we, we took the time to do the research on it and we've been getting customers clear from that report now uh, almost a year just a little over a year since the end of 2020 I don't know when you're gonna be watching this video but since the end of 2020 when I got myself off and then I helped a few other individuals say, okay we have something here they come to find out there are tens of millions of people who are on this report and are gonna need that I didn't want to make this too long but I really want to let you know that you do have someone here to help you out so there are gonna be videos that pop up that you can watch some more information there's information all over the place including inside of the description area we can get some more information uh, I think we're gonna give you access to some free tools as well to to help you out in your process so just make sure you check out everything if you have any questions you can leave them down below in the in the comment section make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you like this video if you know anybody in who needs this information make sure you share with them as well too. coach MT we're here to help you with your early warning services and check systems challenges with the value that we have here with on our channel so continue to watch everything that we have here again check out the information description area we're going to have some videos pop up that you can check, take a look at. Continue on with the process here. So, look forward to uh, connecting with you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything and be talking with you soon. Hey, how you doing? This is Coach MT. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. Click right here on this link to get your process started. We have some more great free value over here for you. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.